radio show and putting it on television. It's brilliant. Explosive television. Shocking television. This is good television. This is genius. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, Shevitz. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? The, um... I don't know, I'm having trouble adjusting to having, um... Ralph on the TV show and having him around me all the time. It's not his fault. I mean, he's doing his job, but... Like, even now, I had to go yell at him. Get He was following me into the studio for me to open the show. I said, you've got to do my makeup, you've got to do my hair, and then you got to leave. you just got to leave me alone, right? Yeah. But he's saying he has to keep doing things to me throughout the show. He has to watch you put on the headphones? Yeah, I don't know even... I, Ralph, explain to me why you were following me into the studio. I have to do a show. Because I thought that might be it. I was looking at the show last night. Yeah. And I noticed at some points your hair was behind the headphones. And yeah. other times it was falling a little bit freer. If he would just tell me how he wants my hair in the headphones just once. Mm -hmm. And then that would be it. I would know what to do. Now he's not going to come in. Now he won't come in. <laughs> That's the story of my life. When I want him and he's not. <laughs> uh, you seem to have no problems. I see you putting on your own makeup and... Uh, you look beautiful. I mean, well, I hmm. Ralph. I mean, at some point you gotta, you gotta know when to disappear. I mean, I'm walking into the studio to do my show, and you're right behind me. I know, but I just wanted, I just wanted to like to fix you so you looked okay. But how can you fix me while I'm talking? Well, I didn't know you were gonna be tall. I, I just kind of wanted to see what you were doing. I just wanted to see what was going on before you <laughs> went on there. I just wanted to make sure you Dude, looked you, okay. I know, but there's nothing you can do. I I, I go right on See, the like, air. Like, like I would have pulled that hair on the side back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but, I, you know, it's not going to work. I mean, every yeah. break he's in here fixing my hair and my makeup, and I can't concentrate. Yeah. He's making me cuckoo. It, the only thing I can concentrate on is how annoyed I am by Ralph. <laughs> like, I'm even reading the paper while Ralph makes me up, and it's just annoying. Which is very funny. Have they gotten a shot of that yet? Yeah, well, yeah, they have, but nobody knows what to make I, of it. I, I didn't say anything this morning. No, you didn't. It's just annoying. Just said I'm there. Yeah. Hmm. It's just hard to collect your thoughts while another guy is in the room with you, especially one as obsessed as you. <laughs> Obs obsessed you, you exude annoyance. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm living annoyance. Yeah, you're living annoyance. Tom came by this morning. He said, uh, why don't you have Ralph work on your makeup? Why, is that a hint? He doesn't like your makeup? Oh, then he immediately corrected himself and said, Oh, no, 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 that's not a knock. Not, not that you don't look good. I was just wondering why Rob doesn't work on you. Why does Tom get involved? Tom is a moron. If you're happy doing your makeup, why would he create a, a further problem he for me? He has no idea what Ralph does. He has no idea about anything. No, but no. But he comes in and stirs things up. Because he's a moron. And morons, when they are here to interfere, only a moron can interfere. <laughs> only <laughs> morons can screw why my would life you up. stop and ask? I know what I'm doing. No, if no, I because wanted somebody to do my makeup, they'd be here. It's called meaningless conversation. I see. Because they, they have to stop you for this. It wasn't like I was engaging Tom in conversation. Right. No, it's 90% of people are morons and have nothing to say, so they just blurt open their mouths and only create problems. Uh. Let's say you were out of your mind or something, and you went, yeah, I should have makeup from Ralph. Oh, where's my makeup from Ralph? You know what I mean? You would, you, he just doesn't know how to behave. I told him not to be a moron. Fred, could I have louder music, please? <laughs> Thank you. Fred's in a groove. Leave him alone. Oh, okay, Fred, you're doing a good job. No, this, this one's your control. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, you set the level. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Because I tell you, Ralph is really annoying. And it's like even it it's even music. annoying that Ralph is like now part of the open of the show mm -hmm. because he's involved with me, and then all of a sudden he's following me in. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, he's just in the way, so you can't yeah. think of anything else. I get, you know, at some point, I get up out of the chair, you should say, okay, man, you're done. No, I get done, and then I got a guy following me into the studio. I've had people do my makeup before, and they don't then follow me around everywhere. I know. They then then they, disappear. They, they don't do touch-up, Robin? Yes, they do touch-up, but just they finished. don't do How can it you do right touch -up? after they finish. You just, a touch-up maybe in two, I said to him, today we're going to try something new, Ralph. You'll be allowed to come in at around 8 o'clock and touch me up. Other than that, I don't want to see you. I have an, a perfect solution. Yeah. Instead of following him into the studio, mm -hmm. he comes in, he says a good morning, and then he goes to commercial. Yeah, that's when you touch if me you up. If you needed to check him to make sure that, you know, for the final Robin? look through, he was all right. Robin, that's Robin, that's Robin, 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 no, Robin, Robin, I got a better story for Robin, you. Robin, that's a great idea. Thank you. That's right. what I'll do from now on. <laughs> I have a better scenario. Uh-huh. 
He disappears. After, he does my makeup at 6 o'clock in the morning. He's uh -huh. all done. Mm -hmm. Got my hair. He's done the makeup. Let him go into the TV room where they're shooting now, where they look at all the oh, monitors. That's an even better solution. If he sees a problem, come in here at, at 6.05 when I take a break. That's even better. And touch me up. Mm -hmm. And if there's no problem, stay out. Stay out. <laughs> That's exactly. I know what it's show. it's really you know it's boring sitting back there, but that's your it's job. Not, that is boring, but you know, all right, maybe I overdo it sometimes, but I'm just trying to do my. I know job, you are, right? but you know, at I some point, sure your hair I, looks but okay. my job is to I be know. funny on the radio. I can't do it with you annoying me every minute. I'm drive. You're, again, I'm going to tell you, I can't. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> Get out. Oh, Ralph. <sighs> my shadow, my actual shadow, is less <laughs> persistent than Ralph. <laughs> my actual shadow. <laughs> Jackie's up. <laughs> Get out. Get out of the room. You're a moron. I told you not to be stupid. You're a moron. You're almost as stupid as Tom, but not quite as stupid. <laughs> Tom is the stupidest individual I know. <laughs> Tom really is a moron. He's an imbecile. He's an imbecilic moron. Now, He's... you're just saying that in general. No, not, not even about your okay, makeup. Try. He's just a moron. Did he bother you at some point yesterday or something? Uh, yeah, he bothers me without... It, everything gets back to me. He whispers into Gary's ear about things that I shouldn't be doing on the radio. He's an imbecilic moron mm. who embarrasses me to no end. And if he is not out of my life in a few weeks, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I want out because of Tom. It's very nice that we have a TV show now. It's very nice we have a radio show and we're heard throughout the country. My dream has come true. We've, in a sense, thwarted the FCC by getting this show on television. We're reaching millions of homes. But Tom is much dumber than O.J. Simpson, and I can't deal with dumb people because my career has come too far, progressed too far to deal with the likes of someone stupider than O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Tom, please, I've had it with you. Yeah, I want you out of my life. It's so nice what? to see you this morning. No, Howard. I'm not in love with you, my yeah, friend. Right. Good. You're, you're a pawn caught in the middle, but I, I, I tell you something, I, I'm not buying that anymore. Rook to square three. Everyone's in on my show. What, what is it? What can I do for you? Well, I, I just, I mean, anything else you want to say about me? No. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay. I'll say it behind your back where I'm comfortable. <laughs> I don't, I'm not comfortable saying it with right, you in the studio. That. Thank That's you. That's why I figured I'd come in. Just stay out. I never want to see you until <laughs> until later. Ooh. That's not happening on the show. Mm. That's not happening on the show. Oh, it's happening, pal. Pal of mine. Don't you tell me what I can do. I hate you. <laughs> I hate radio. I hate radio on TV. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate Scott's chest hair. I hate that I tell Scott to put pictures of O.J. Simpson in and they're not in the show. And very soon, I'll be making an announcement that I hate movies. Oh, dear. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. You hate everything. I hate, I'm a man who hates every medium.